I am back here with the 2019 Honda Accord. This week I've been testing this two liter sport with a six speed manual. And I wanted to tell you what it's been like to live with. I filmed a POV night drive a few days ago, talked about what this is like to drive, how it is dynamically. In short, it's fun. The manual transmission is great. The powertrain, the engine is awesome. I've really, really enjoyed driving this car. Um, it's comfortable, it's smooth, it's quite engaging and fun to drive once you get to hustling it. And uh, as we're gonna see in this video, it's very practical and very usable. And I really only have a couple of complaints with this car. Otherwise, I'm just blown away at how good it is to live with. So looking in here, I'll show you guys a daytime view of this trunk. There's a ton of space back here. You even have a spare tire. It's not a full size spare, but um, it'll get you on the road again if you need it. You have 60-40 folding rear seats, easily accessible uh, with these levers that you pull down and just a massive amount of trunk space. Uh, for example, here's my wallet and look how much space there is. All right, no, uh, no handle up here to grab and pull down, but uh, you can just grab your license plate frame and use that. Lightweight trunk, easy to open and close. Same story in the back seat. Again, just a ton of room, more legroom than you could really need. Um, if anything, you're gonna be limited by headroom. At five foot 10, I have about an inch and a half above my head. I'm pretty comfortable back here. The seats are soft. Everything is very spacious. You have good visibility as a passenger. Uh, you even have a little armrest down here to set a drink and uh, relax. Classically designed cabin from Honda. Really nice materials, soft touch leathers. These seats are great, they're very comfortable also. And uh, all the plastics just have a nice solid feel to them. Everything in here feels like it'll pretty much look and uh, act as new for a very long time. So in this video, let's go over what the sound system is like. Um, some of the Honda safety, Honda sensing systems. Um, let's take you around in the interior now. Let's look at what we have as far as storage and practicality. So the first thing you'll notice is the infotainment has been updated. I love this system. It's really good. It's very responsive. Everything falls to hand very well and very nicely. Um, no complaints here. You have your volume knob, your tune and scroll knob, your knobs and buttons for climate control. This Accord does this cool thing where it turns blue when you turn the climate control cooler, it turns red when you heat it up. Uh, that's pretty neat. A little bit of storage here for your mobile device, a couple of cup holders, another storage bin in here, and uh, lots of spaces to charge your phone and uh, keep your devices at full battery. A couple of automatic windows here up front. The rears are uh, touch only. Everything is just laid out really well. You have a trunk pop button down here, your Honda sensing systems right here, trip and odometer down there. Everything on the steering wheel is easy to find and really well laid out. I love the cruise control system and the automatic uh, lane keep assist in this car. And look at this manual. Nice shifting transmission, uh, quite good to drive actually. It's fun to just drive around town. And uh, also, once you, once you hustle it, it's not bad. It doesn't show any uh, any negative tendencies really. It's not as crisp, not as sharp, not as sporty as like a Type R, even though it's the same transmission, but uh, it's just everything in this car is soft, easy, lightweight, smooth. Uh, it's a very good daily driver, not very fatiguing to drive, and uh, it does reward you the, fat, the harder and the faster you go, which is nice. It's always a good mark of a good sedan, good sporty sedan. And you have a ton of luxury and tech features to keep you happy uh, on the daily commute. So let's take it on the road. Let's take a look around and uh, show you guys what this thing is like to drive again. One of my few complaints that I do have about the Accord, uh, turning radius isn't awesome. Though it'll get you around and into what you need. Uh, it's just something that I've noticed trying to parallel park, getting the tight turning spaces. Definitely not a deal breaker. Luckily though, uh, from lock to lock, it's a pretty fast rack and uh, you can 
get to full lock quite quickly. Setting off, the clutch is very lightweight, easy to engage smoothly. Um, anyone who's new to manual transmission driving can learn to drive this very easily. And anyone who's an experienced manual transmission driver will enjoy this and um, be able to practice advanced techniques like heel and toe driving, rev matching with uh, relative ease. This is actually a pretty fun transmission to drive. Um, one of the best that I've driven in recent years in a midsize sedan. Maybe it's not quite as crisp and notchy as the old Accord V6 Coupe with the manual, but um, it definitely fills the niche and is worth getting if you want a manual transmission. I would highly recommend this. Let's just set off here and do a little bit of a, a brisk start off the line onto the highway. So what else can I say about this Accord? Um, one complaint that I do have with this gauge cluster, I've mentioned this in my last video, but um, you are limited with uh, one screen at a time. So you can either see your tachometer or you can see info. With this manual, I wish you could see the tach all the time. Dang, this thing is fast. It really pulls, guys. There's some power here. 252 horsepower, but they are, they've definitely underrated that. There's torque and power at pretty much every RPM. Throw it into sixth gear. You have all the passing power you need after just a little bit of turbo lag. The automatic cruise control and keep assist both work very well. Um, I'm surprised at how well this all has, in, has been integrated with the manual transmission. I've never driven an automatic cruise control system with a manual. Uh, what it does, the solution is just it, it turns off below 30 miles an hour or something like something around there and uh, gives you a little beep telling you that it's disengaged and that way you don't stall out in sixth if, you, uh, if you've been slowed down automatically by the car. You can downshift on your own, and cruise control will stay engaged, which is nice. Um, so you have control over your gears if you're gonna be in stop and go traffic. There's even a little upshift light, which is cool. I love the way this thing rides. It handles very well. There's a decent amount of steering feel at the limit. Definitely doesn't make that beautiful sonorous V6 noise that the V6 used to, but it makes up for it in power and it is still quite fun to drive. All the inputs in this new Accord are light, effortless, um, but it still manages to be engaging and entertaining, which is very key because sometimes when manufacturers lighten all of your inputs, it tends to feel a little bit numb, but that's not really the case here. All right, so let's head back onto the highway. I will show you guys what this audio system sounds like. Let's go into our test tracks here and listen to our first track. Really easy to adjust volume, change your tracks here on the steering wheel.
my opinion, a very respectable sound system. Um, does a really nice job keeping, you know, clarity at speed, nice bass. Also loving the visibility with this new Accord. Uh, this eight pillar was put back a bunch and uh, as a result you have this great open greenhouse where you can see just about everything you need to. So how can I sum up this car? It's been a it's been a really good week in this thing. Um, you know, as I said in my last video, pretty much every version of the Accord that I've driven, I've really enjoyed uh, the way it drives. From the Accord Hybrid to the 1.5 liter turbo with the manual to the 2 liter turbo with the 10 speed auto. The only version I haven't been in is the CVT. Um, but it's just a really good platform, a really good car, and you kind of can't go wrong with which, whatever version you choose. It depends on your needs, what you're valuing. If you want something that's sporty and fun to drive, this is the way to go. Uh, at 30 grand, it kind of can't be beat in the market. I think that's a killer price for what you're getting. You pretty much have everything you would want and need out of a modern car here. You get great gas mileage, you get a lot of fun from the drivetrain and the suspension and the handling department. Uh, for me personally, I would buy one of these. It's a little bit long to fit in our garage, and um, I may just, I would may just want a Type R because I already have a Lexus that's kind of my luxury car, and I'd want to, you know, have something that's a little bit sportier. But if you just had to have one car, you could be entertained and uh, driven around in comfort and practicality with this no problem you would this would make a fantastic daily driver and a really really good sedan to live with um, for a long time so it feels like a quality piece of machinery it's going to last a long time and be reliable and treat you well and um, has a lot of good safety tech to it that's uh, included in every accord all this honda sensing is pretty much standard now on everything which is great So, high marks for this car. I'm really quite impressed at how fun it is to drive. I was really, really rooting for this manual to be good and it just didn't disappoint. Um, I think that manufacturers have been slacking a little bit on the quality and the uh, fun to drive aspects of their manual transmissions. And that's not the case here, which I am proud to report. I think uh, Honda is doing a really good job with this car and with their current lineup, bringing some fun and injecting some uh, enjoyment back into the brand, which is a, always a good thing. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Let me know if you have any questions uh, about this. I know pretty much I've covered a lot and there's a lot of videos already out on these, but feel free to chime in in the comments if there's anything specific you wanna know. Uh, comparatively in the marketplace, I think this is really a top contender it's more exciting, more fun to drive um, than the Camry and even the Genesis G70, in my opinion. This manual is a big improvement in feel and uh, shift satisfaction. So, pretty top marks for this car. I think uh, I may even may even swing for one of these someday. I've been I've been uh, quite impressed this week. Here's a little view of the key fob. I don't really know why, but the design on this has been a little bit controversial. Getting a lot of comments, people hate the way it looks. I I don't really get it. I think it looks fantastic. These wheels are super cool, kind of a turbo blade look. 
it has classic sedan proportions. Uh, aside from these kind of lobster claw tail lights, uh, there isn't really anything that's super strange from a design standpoint on this car. The grill's not crazy. Um, there isn't anything overly large or garish to it. It has a nice use of chrome and different materials. This black chrome is really cool. Uh, everything's been integrated quite well. It has these neat Acura style headlights. So really, I, I think this thing looks great. It's, it's, a, it's a long, big looking sedan visually, uh, but even though it's still about the same size as the old Accord, Honda really does a good job with packaging their cars on the inside too, and uh, that is one plus with this, is just the massive amounts of room back here. Easy to get in and out of, easy to put a child seat. You can haul a family in comfort without having to have a big SUV. And I think that right there is probably the biggest reason to go buy a Honda Accord. So. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. We will see you in the next video. We've got some more press cars coming in in the coming weeks and uh, some more videos coming from the MAMA 2019 Spring Rally as well. Stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.